Hello everyone, my name is Flareblitz and welcome back to Nyakuri's Rabbit Doll where we'll be going through all the endings of the video today before we transfer over to the DLC. Now then, if you want to watch the normal ending of this game which we covered in the last episode then I would suggest checking out that one because, well, we've already covered it so why should we go over it again? But without further ado, we'll get into the other three endings of the game. To get bad end one, we need to pull this statue over here so that then the door behind that opens up. So we're gonna do that right now. Push you there, pull you there, me, then pull you again, so then we can enter the door. Now this will become very important later on for the true end, but we don't have the requirements for that locked down yet. So just go through this. You can't see yourself through this mirror. I feel hot. What's wrong with this mirror? Hello there, other self. Nice to see you again, my little cutie. You... you are... you are the girl in my dream. Yes, that's me. Before you stop her, I'll always be with you in your dream. Her? Who is her? The girl who lost her rabbit doll. What are you talking about? You are weird. Corley is my only sister. Don't say bad words about her. You may not understand now, my little cutie, but don't worry. Just ask Corey for help is not a bad choice. What are you talking about? I don't understand. I have my name. I don't like other names. And I'm not little. I'm big. Oh, really? You used to love this name when you are in my arm. What? I don't remember that. Well, you are part cat. It's strange to talk to you. You know nothing. Nothing about me. I'm angry now. You must tell me where is Cooley's rabbit doll. The rabbit doll has already returned to its owner. You? Well, hi. That's right. It's all over. Corey, where have you been? Well, hi there. What is this? Oh my gosh. No! <laughs> oh, protagonist. I knew it. You are still alive, sister. I'm sorry. It finally ended up like this. No, sister, what are you... No! It's been so hard to get here. Don't go! Couldn't catch what that other part said. Oh, for goodness sakes. Fake! You just saying that we've been playing as a fake all this time? How dare you? Now we're going to get to the second bad end. There's a few things that we need to do with the black cat to get to the second bad end of the game and it all involves just avoiding the black cat's help and solving the liar's puzzle all on our own so we don't involve its help in order to get for it automatically you know like the difficulty mechanics where something was too difficult so the game just turned down the difficulty it's kind of like that in a way leave the black cat behind this is an necessity in order to get to this ending Mikey and Harry are the layers, and the right door will open rather than the others. The door on the right is opened. Heck yeah. How's it going? Can we get out here now? Yes, we can leave now. Absolutely. Hmm. Ignoring it again. Hello there, Car Corey. Okay folks, we're on the path to the second bad end, and did you notice a difference between the normal end and bad end 2 when it comes to this particular route? Yeah, there's a black cat on the floor there. Like, yikes. Mr. Black Cat! Why? You did it. You did it, Nye, Corey. I found my rabbit doll. Corey, why did you do this? Mr. Black Cat can't be the thief. The truth behind the appearance, you mean disappearance always surprise you. This world is full of bad guys with their masks. The truth is, I finally found my rabbit doll. And the Black Cat is the thief. I will never, never forgive a thief. It, it can't be. Toru, are you doubting me? No. No. Why? Why you rather trust a cat you just met than the one who loves you the most? But that, in turn, does not mean that we love you the most. 
please stop doubting me. I am the one who loves you the most in this world. So let's live together as we did before, shall we? And come on, it's time to go home. And I will tell you a story of us, of our rabbit dolls, okay? Obviously we're being carried home. And we're in distraught still. Bad end too. Ending of happiness. Yep, yeah, certainly is. Now the true end. And this is going to be quite a doozy. This is the first clue for the true ending. 8010. I always thought that was a 9 because that little part of the 8 there is faded out a little bit. But we need to enter that to the, the box which allows us to input a code in. This is the gift box in question. You want 8010, correct? There we go. And a little joker comes up. I knew you could see that too. But you still need to answer one more question. It was grey during the day, but turned black at night. What is it? Um, the sun? No, that's always red for eternity. The moon? No. Even though when it's a new moon it turns black, it doesn't mean that it turns black during the day and night. The star is the same as the sun. So the sky. Correct. Go to find another me here. So let's do that. And another one spawns here. Hey there. Please tell me how many windows did you see after you going up to this floor. You should remember it. Why should I? Because you are the house cat, the house owner's cat. Foreshadowing. House owner's cat. Ten. Correct. Keep going. Find another me in this house. Hmm. You can tell that I've done this before, guys. But just in my spare time so I can fathom out what to do. And the final joker. Tell me a theme that you have but I don't. Well, we both have tails. We both have wisdom, so it's a shadow. Correct. You have all the right answer. I'm going to tell you a secret. Can you tell me where is Rabbit Doll? In the mirror. Oh no, she's coming! Um, who's coming? Clever you. You surely know how to escape from her. Whom? Whom are you referring to and why? We'll hide in here. Obviously, this is the most lovely place to hide, the most obvious place. But it's a nice, lovely little animation there for our main character. How she went into the wardrobe like that. Very minute details there. And something got smashed up there. For goodness sakes. <laughs> lovely. What happened? I don't know. You asked for jokers about that. They're all severely impaled by now. Right, so you're like that, you're like that, and the other one, which is in the other room, is like that. Okay, so somebody was not happy when coming through here. They like to do a little bit of destruction in their spare time. Now, this is where it gets really interesting, and I mean really interesting. So, after this, after putting the code in, we're going to look into the mirror again. And surprise, we have another version of ourselves. One who disappeared through that door, that was there, then not there, then there again. Lovely, isn't it? These turns of events. And there is some cats in here, which were brutally killed. There's nothing in the mirror. A handwritten note with sketchy handwriting. I hate that white cat. Its colour... Its eyes, its claws are all disgusting. That's very prejudiced of you. And another word as well, beginning with R, since she associated it with a colour. Obviously I was the first to be by her side. Why does my sister like this weak creature? No, my sister must be deceived by its hypocritical eyes. All these creatures should be killed. No! No creature has the right, or you don't have the right to kill a creature. Nothing and nobody does. White cats were brutally killed. Every cat deserves a right to have a happy life. Just like every dog deserves to have a right to have a happy life. And people, 
and every other living organism in the entire universe. That's right, not just Earth, but the entire universe. Take it. Absolutely. And what we're going to do with this hourglass is, well, we're going to expect it over here first. This hourglass is a dusty base, but clean on top. Mm-hmm. What we're going to do is we're going to put it down. Not upwards, because it means nothing happens. We're going to put it upside down. And what we need to do now is just wait a little bit until something happens. Something bristly in the air, as per se. Because we want this hourglass to expire and all the sand to go down to the bottom. And I'm in time to transpire. But this is a horrific room. And it definitely is a horrid game. A sound of wind from the mirror. And it's really uncomfortable here. There we go through the mirror. And we bypass that doll slash puppet event. Hello there. Here you are, my friend. I'm your friend? Uh, hi. Uh, do we know each other before? Of course. Hmm, did you see a girl with golden hair? No, I didn't. Well, did you see a rabbit doll? Nah, I didn't know about that. Oh, okay. So, I don't know who you are. I can't remember where I smelled this. Oh, probably by accident. Well, we both are cats. In some way, shape, or form. Now, remember that sec what that second joker said? That we are the house cat's owner. So, we are the owner's house cat. One of the two. There's definitely some foreshadowing going on as to what our character is. So we want to inspect that door. And then our wonderful friend comes by. Do you need help? I can help you open this door, but I'm tired. You have to carry me for a moment. But are you shedding hairs? Can you stay in my bag? If you don't carry me, you can't go on. Okay, I will carry you. Check the firewood. The key is over there. How did I miss the firewood? I don't know. I know that the door is unlocked, but we absolutely cannot go in there. Otherwise, we will not be able to achieve the true ending to this game. Now, let's explore the rest of the house with the black cat in hand. Mr. Black Cat, do you think this drawing has any meaning? Who knows? Could be. That's... Us, I believe? Why did the pupil colour of this person change suddenly? I have no idea, because the yellow character's uh, eyes change from red to blue at times, and vice versa. Look in the mirror again, and we have ourselves a black cat! With red eyes! Very big discrepancy there if you know other games like, let's say, The Witch's House, for example, where... That has a demonic cat in its own nature. Don't know if it has red eyes. Can't remember that one. But it definitely has a demonic presence. Hello red eye. So what we want to do now is go to the kitchen to inspect that spike tile, which we can't normally go over. And there's something else outside of the house that we need to do as well. Since we now have the cat and we have a smaller body to be able to investigate places which we could not have otherwise. But let's go in here first. Who did this? So cruel. No, not me. I swear. They did it themselves. So we've got this over here. Spike. Don't try to get through this dangerous place. But I want to get in the kitchen door over there. So with that in tow, we need to find another way round. Not in the building, but within the vicinity of the outside of the building. Which is down here. Want to go home? A little bit. But I still need to give the rabbit doll back. Is rabbit doll that important? Of course. They are the most important things for me and Corey. Indeed they are. So what we need to do now is go over here. Up here. And we need to go to this barricade here. Rotting table emitting a unique smell. But can you see that there is a small light source here? What's this? Blue light is coming out inside. Looks like there's something weird in this room. Well, I've never seen a room with this kind of light. I'll go take a look. Okay, I'll wait for you. Well, we both technically are cats. 
so we could both technically fit in here, but we're just larger. We're a cosplay cat. I think, anyways. And, oh my Christ. This is another plot twist within the story, because these are cats and euros. As in, the white-haired girl that we saw in the mirror in the bad end of... Well, the first bad end. What the hell did she do? And she's he's referring to the yellow-haired girl. There's a bloody note on the table. Useless. All of them are useless. They just turn to my sister's appearance and die with no soul. The resurrection ceremony has never succeeded. Why can't these bodies bring my sister back? Probably because bringing back the dead is impossible. I should stay away from them. But can you see what's going on here, folks? But to get the dead girls are showing extreme pain on their faces through a mirror. I am not surprised. This room is absolutely defiled with gore. Should stay away from them. And this goes out towards here. You can see why now this place is a bloody mess. But we had no room to be able to get there in the first place. And it's probably a good idea that we as the character shouldn't be able to get there. Because that will be too much for her. What did Mr. Black Cat see? I feel like there's a strange smell inside. Just some old furniture and sun dries. Nothing special. Oh? Okay. But we know there's more in there, didn't we now, Mr. Black Cat? Hmm. There's one other thing I need to take note of, and this is something to do with the mirror itself near the end of the game. And that is this book which talks about the resurrection itself. Magic in the mirror. With a mirror, an appropriate body, and some special rituals, the dead soul will resurrect. The best time is the full moon, when the moon is brightest. Guiding the moonlight with mirror to illuminate the body which is ready to sacrifice. The resurrection ceremony will begin. So that is talking about the path to the true... That's talking about the path to the true ending, which we tried to get to the mirror beforehand in the previous episode, but couldn't because we didn't have these extra steps locked down. So therefore, unlocking the true ending was impossible at that point in time. Another key step. We need this hand mirror. Otherwise, we won't be able to shine up the first half of that room which has the giant mirror in it. Sorry, voice. We're going to need to take it. But don't worry. You're not going to eat us. You know who the owner of this house is. Really now. And you go away. Then we want to set both dimensions to 8 p.m. That will soon descend upon 8 p.m. for us. Okay, the door is unlocked. But with our character here, the white-haired character, we absolutely cannot go through that door. Otherwise, the true end will not be achievable. So remember Bad End 1, where we went through the door, which is down here. But of course, that will be in... Um, the other character's universe. Well, we need her to go through there again and inspect with the mirror again, but we cannot do it while this blonde haired character is with us. So, what we need to do with her is we need her to go somewhere else, and for that measure, we need her to go through the broken mirror. Did you see that? Did you see that for a split frame, there was another character in this mirror? With different hair color and different looks. So, now that she is here, there's no way back. That's the indicator that now this is going to be a safe thing to do. Go down here, go through this door over here, and inspect the mirror again. This time, we won't be killed. You can't see yourself through this mirror. I feel hot. What's wrong with this mirror? Hmm. Hi there again. Nice to see you again, my little cutie. You... You are... You are the girl in my dream. Yes, that's me. Before you stop her, I'll always be with you in your dream. Her? Who is her? The girl who lost her rabbit doll. What are you talking about? You are weird. 
Corey is my only sister. Don't say bad words about her. You may not understand now, my little cutie, but don't worry. Just ask Corey for help is not a bad choice. What are you talking about? I don't understand. I have my name. I don't like other names. Yeah, I am Nyaruturu. And I am not little as well. Oh, really? You used to love this name when you were in my arm. So what are you saying is that we were once upon a time a cat? What? I don't remember that. It's strange to talk to you. You know nothing. Nothing about me. I'm angry now. You must tell me where is Corey's rabbit doll. The rabbit doll has already returned to its owner. Destiny will always find its way. But who are you? I really don't understand what you said. What start with you must be ended with you. You may not understand now, my little cutie. But don't worry. Live, sorry, live, observe and understand what you see, what people say. I believe we will meet each other in the future. Hmm, weirdo. <laughs> oh dear, you can say that again. But that is most of the requirements for the true ending now. Now that that's out of the way, we can also proceed through here. Follow the same criteria as Bad End 2 throughout the game, but rather than leave the Black Cat behind, let's now acknowledge it. Find Mr. Black Cat first. Corey, can I bring Mr. Black Cat leave here together? So that we can leave here together. Where is it? Upstairs. Do you know him too, Corey? Wait! Yeah, Corey! Come back here. I want to have a word with you, thank you very much. Black Cat is not here. He was just a moment ago. He should be somewhere nearby. Yes, it should be somewhere nearby. So, not here. Did you find that cat? No, at least not in this room. I'll check there later. Okay, let's check here again. And you come in here. If you can't find it, forget it for now. Find me. By the way, do you like piano, Toru? Just so-so. Shall I play it for you? Now this is another important step. We need to allow this piano cycle to end. I don't remember you can play piano, Corey. This is a secret. I can't trust that smile of yours. I'm sorry, but that smile is just so, so Yandere-like. <laughs> it's almost as if you want to be smiling like that for a malicious goal in the future. Goes on for about four to five minutes, so skip through all that. We don't have much time. Come on, Toru. Let's go downstairs. We'll do just that. Again, there's another requirement for the true ending. Allowing time to pass by so that she can play her beloved piano. This is something else that irks me. Nyaratoru, you are the most special one. You really are different from others. Others as in the room by the kitchen with all those corpses. Those are the ones you call others. Why did you say that? I have no idea. <laughs> she has no idea either. I believe if you solve this on your own or rely on the cat, it doesn't matter at this point in time. So, Harry and Mikey. Those two. Door the right is open. Hey there, how's it going? Can we get out of here now? Yes, we can leave. And your... It seems the door is open. Let's interact. The door is open. Go ahead, Toru. I want Mr. Black Cat to go with me. Ugh. I'll let you go first this time. What? What's that? What does that say, folks? <laughs> oh dear, that in another section needs translating for one in a normal ending route. I won't be fooled this time. I won't lie to you this time. I will never leave you. For real. Okay. 
I believe you. So you can wait here and I'll go out and check around. I will follow you soon. I'm just a bit tired. Cool. As long as our second character has a hand mirror, this is totally possible. Totally possible. Totally possible. Silver knife too. Oh no, she must have dropped the hand mirror. Which is good for our own sakes. <laughs> no idea why we can select her during that sequence where we can't actually control her movements. So, what we need to do is obviously drop down here. And then, grabbing the hand mirror is a necessity for this. And this is where I got confused last time. Because we put it down, but the mirror itself did not resonate. I have a bad feeling. I need to find Mr. Black Cat immediately. There's no time to waste. And I'm just going to do this first. Okay, so that is the path to the normal ending. We could do that right now, actually. If I put it here. Hmm. I feel I've seen this mirror before. Have you now? Should we go down? Or go across to there? Now we'll go across to here. A giant mirror. Again, I feel hot. Now, in the last time, it just says it's just a mirror. Now we get the same resonation as the mirror we saw if in the bad end of one scenario. Touch the mirror. Aha. How are you getting along with Yuri, my cutie? What's wrong? You look a little upset. Oh, still afraid of those villagers who hit you. This cat's had some troublesome past then. Wounds almost recovered, but still afraid of unfamiliar people. Physical wounds, yes. Mental wounds, not so easy. Don't worry, you have me now. I will not let anyone hurt you. Oh, you are not afraid of villagers? Hmm, Yuri. Well, she is not a bad girl. Do not be afraid. If you try to get close to her while she plays piano, she might accept you. Oh? I forgot to tell you. I need to go outside tomorrow. But you must stay in the home. But that didn't happen, did it? Because that cat ended up there. I always feel that there's a child soul in your body. And I know you are the angel who repels plague for us. Not Angle. Also, my best friend. Ah, Euro. Aside from your own sister, of course. She's your bish friend. Master. I remember it. Oh. I remember it. I remember all of it. What is that? Oh, we get sucked into the mirror by ourselves. Oh, and now we appear here? Hmm. What's going to happen now? Oh no, what happened? I guess you are the real Cory, right? Well, you got me, Toru. Indeed, you are the real one. Ah! You already knew the truth, my sister. It's been a long time, Euro. I am not Euro. I'm not Euro, and I'm not your sister. You must be kidding me, sis. See? We have the same rabbit dolls. Hmm. Disinterested. I thought you know who I am. Why do you keep bothering me? Of course I know. I will never forget. I'm sorry, Yuri. I just look like you, but I'm not her. I think you should know, Yuri, that your sister is not in this world anymore. No. You are lying. I don't believe it. It's not true. Denial. Do you know what happened that night? Tora, don't. Shut up. You keep saying. It's my fault. It's all my fault. I'm the one who shouldn't exist in this world. Don't say that as well. But Euro. Yuri. What did you say? Euro sacrificed herself. To revive me. No. I don't. It's not possible. I don't believe it. You are not telling the truth. 
You will definitely not do that. You liar. I'm sorry, Yuri. I'm really sorry. It's all my fault. I shouldn't have went out alone that day. I was a bad cat. That's why she's a cat. Yuro, my master. Yuro is your master? So it was you. It was all because of you. You. How dare you! But Yuro is the one who made that choice. Enough! Mo no more explanation. I really don't know why my sister loves you. Such a hypocritical creature. Maybe you're the one who did all the experiments. Please, listen to me. In fact, I am Nayotoro. What's happening now? Does, definitely does give me remember vibes. Do you remember why she looks almost the same as me? Remember that game, folks? Remember? Re semicolon remember? Do you remember? Do you know why she is familiar with this house? Do you know why she treats rabbit dolls so importantly? Yeah, it almost has the same kind of basic vibe. You know, we forget something and we discover later on about the incident because. Because. She is me. It's almost as if we're fading away. No, that is Euro because of the lack of tail and ears. She is the angel. With my heart and soul. What happened to your parents? Maybe we'll get more answers to that in the DLC, probably. So, promise me. Promise your what? We're a bit transparent. We're a ghost, aren't we? Yuri, my sister. They're dualities, but the same at the same time, or very similar. Stop doing this to her. Yeah, stop trying to revive her. Stop trying to kill in countless others in the process of doing so. Okay? With that border knife. Okay? Ah. Oh. And she scatters away. She became Thanos. And defeated. She feels crushed psychologically. Ah, and the credits. Well, that was that was quite worth the endeavour to get to, folks. That really was a nice little trip down there. Even though it was a little bit pushed off to the side, and it does take a little bit of thinking over in order to do that. Like, you wouldn't think at first to carry the black cat around with you throughout the rest of the rest of the game that you've already been through like the kitchen the outside of the house and of course that little room there which we couldn't have got to without the black cat so that was a pretty nice game and i'm really looking forward to the dlc when it releases which by the time you probably watch this or if you've watched it during the day in which this uploads then we're still waiting for it Another good day. But I'm glad I gave this game another chance at the end of the last video. Because I could have given up there because of the requirements being a little bit of an unknown factor. But doing some research and just playing through the game by myself. We were able to get there at the end folks. And I'm very glad we did this. Because this is a very neat little story. Like it's very cute in a way. But also very horrific. Cute as in the whole person with the cat kind of attachments to them you know that kind of like japanese kind of style with like made cafes and stuff like that. thank you for playing we hope you enjoyed this game i thoroughly did thank you welcome to the special gift room ah hello so this is like a debug slash bonus room 
Do you want to read the instructions? Absolutely. We've already done that. We've already done that part. So then, what makes this a special room then? Besides the fact that it's our home. There are some black stains of charcoal in the fireplace. And you. This is the special room where it mainly tells players what the author wants to say. The reason why I made this game. It's because the author likes to play RPG Maker puzzle solving and horror games so much. Same here. But playing games and making games are two different things, exactly. Nevertheless, the author took the plunge and made the game. Hmm, okay. Highlights. Actually, the main character's shoes are slippers. Lol. The author's big mistake. Okay. Only one thing that makes it a special room, like... We can't go no, we can't go outside, so that's not a thing. And the but the, the rabbit doll is still not there, it's still missing. That's still a mystery for another day. Colty. But we can still have G. Um save, I guess. Guess we shall save back at home. Hmm. That's a little bit of a downer when it comes to that, but it's still very nice to have at the end of the day. Then we got BGM on the road. That. That. We can play those again. I think they're just OSTs rather than the actual endings themselves. Because it doesn't have a second bad end on there as well. Okay, folks. That is the main core of Nyakuri's Rabbit Doll. Done with all endings achieved. The only two achievements I haven't got are the ones for the DLCs themselves. One of which is called The Meaning of Life, which is the extra end to the DLC. And Happiness of Ending, which is the normal end. So, there is a canonical ending, which is called Yuri's Rabbit Doll, which is the one we just achieved. Then we had Ending and Happiness, which was the second bad end, along with Fake bad end which is the first bad end and then the one we saw at the previous episode which is called oh sorry folks uh which is called nyakuri's rabbit doll which is the normal end so i hope you all enjoyed this endeavor as much as i have playing it folks this has been a bit of an adventure in itself as I said in the past, it's a, it's a really nice game in itself. It's nicely constructed. There are some translation issues here and there which needs to be stamped out if it wants to be a, a classical solid RPG Maker game. But I respect the work that the author has put in. But the only other thing I can say is that the aspect ratio is just, just off-putting for people who want to stream or let's play it. That's all I'm going to say. But... We all work around these sort of things because as people we need to adapt to individual circumstances and this individual circumstance is the aspect ratio. It's just how many pixels are wide and how many pixels are tall. That's all there is. So that is all that there is for Nyakuri's Rabbit Doll for this point in time. And we shall see each other's in the DLC which will be released tomorrow after the creation of this video. So have a wonderful day, folks, and take care of yourselves.